right. Uh, our old pal David Denman is here. He uh, co-stars in 13 Hours. It is a much-talked-about, somewhat controversial movie, The uh, Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, the full name of it. It's about those six CIA contractors who put their lives on the line in Libya during the attack on the American diplomatic compound in September 2012. U.S. ambassador at risk. You gotta send us. You're not the first responders. You will wait. We have no jurisdiction in this country. We're not even supposed to be here. Losing the initiative. Stand down! If you do not get here soon, we are all gonna die. Wow. This Our is intense. Intense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've talked to you about comedy in the past. Yeah. Yeah, this is a different deal. This is a totally different deal. How did this yeah. one come about for you? Um, you know, I got sent the script, and um, Denise Chamian, who's the casting director, they, uh, she sent me, a, you know, a bunch, of, a bunch of these characters to look at, and, uh, and eventually I came in and read for Boone, who is, uh, he's sort of the quiet, introspective guy of the bunch. He's uh, described as the Zen master and uh, the holder of Tonto's leash, which is this guy... Uh, Chris Tonto Pronto is played by Pablo Schreiber, and they're, they're best friends. They've done a lot of deployments together, and he's a very loud, charismatic guy, and Boone is just like the opposite. Mm -hmm. He's just chill and, uh, and sort of, you know, keeps him under control. All right, I, it, let, let's uh, do this right away because it's becoming the issue. This movie, Michael Bay says, you all say, this is not a political movie. This mm -hmm. is a movie about the event at Benghazi. Well, it's a becoming political. As you know, people have taken sides. They're making it political. Well, one of, of the good things is conservatives are already loving this movie, even without seeing it, mm -hmm. and then seeing it because they feel it's an indictment of Hillary Clinton, the Secretary of State, and Obama, perhaps, and will affect the next election. Mm -hmm. What is your reaction to all of this? Well, you know, the reality is the movie... We never discuss Hillary Clinton in it. It's not, it's not a, the issue. It's so much of the word Benghazi has been kicked around like a political football. And the reality is that what we've lost track of is the story of what happened. Mm -hmm. and what happened that night with these men. And, uh, you know, they were met with some extraordinary circumstances. And they, mm -hmm. they, they acted heroically and stepped up to the plate and, um, and saved, you know, 36 and lives. And you can apply what happened to these soldiers there to many other situations mm -hmm. and, and their story and how the wear and tear on their psyche when these things happen. And I, I think a lot of families are going through that right now. I think yeah. there's, you know. I think, you know, we just did the premiere in, uh, in, in Dallas at AT&T Stadium and, and they had planned for about 15,000 people to come and 35,000 came. Oh, that's and, right. Uh, How it remarkable phenomenal. to do it at a stadium. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't, I, we didn't so know what different. to expect. And uh, it was really touching and, you know, they were incredibly appreciative and the uh -huh. families were, you know, really wanted to thank us for telling a human story, mm -hmm. you know, and telling you, these guys' you, perspective. You know, I think we should clarify something here. You talk about soldiers and they are soldiers. Mm -hmm. These are not members of the U.S. military no. per se. These are private contractors. They're all former yeah. ex-military right. elite operatives who were hired by the CIA to protect CIA operatives in you know foreign. They're, they're doing a soldier's there. job, Absolutely. but they're getting paid yeah. far more than the soldiers get paid. Is they're not U.S. military. I don't know what they get paid to be honest. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's far more. I, I don't. I don't think that uh, it's as much money as you might and think. And they're on the front lines. I mean, this yeah. is this is as 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 much in it as you could get. I don't think there's been a movie to tell to tell the story of what contractors do. And you know, we've heard about contractors, we've heard about, you know, that when if something goes wrong, but we don't ever hear when something goes right and hear what they do yeah. in, you know. So you had access to these men, right? Yeah. Which is, you know, a great resource to make the film, but it also we talk about this when you make a movie and you're playing a real life character. There's mm -hmm. this enormous res responsibility oh, that absolutely. you have and you must have felt that, of course. Of course, uh, you know, they were incredibly gracious to us and opened themselves up to, you know, asking anything about their personal lives and not just the specifics of what happened that night, but like what they think about when they go overseas. And, you know, there's a real brotherhood mm -hmm. with these guys and there's a bond and they believe very strongly that they would not have survived that night if mm -hmm. it had been anyone else. And, and you ask any one of them and they all say they would be over there back in a heartbeat. Really? And, wow. uh, and they miss it. You know? and, yeah, that's another uh, question you have. When you come out of living life on the edge every moment, 
How do you go That's back to normal life? That's the only way you know how to live. And you're not with your boys anymore. Yeah. And life goes back to whatever the new normal is. Well, you go back to your family, but you know these guys are a family. You know, mm -hmm. when they go overseas, uh, you know, there's a bond there. And uh, you know, I, I, I don't know the answer to that. You know, it's an intense thing. I, I, I'm. There's a reason why they do what they do for a living. Right. I do but as I do, an actor, you, know. you had to train. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so we did some training. You had to get comfortable with the uh, equipment, I guess. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did a lot of weapons training. Uh, we did like a boot camp where we went away and learned how to to shoot all the weapons and tactically move through rooms and. and where did uh, you shoot the movie? We shot it in Malta. Malta. And uh, we shot for a week in Morocco. Okay. But it was three months I, in Malta. I know we gotta go. Yeah. Just say something about your wife, please. <laughs> because you know we like her far more yeah, than we, we like her. I know. Her. My wife, uh, she's, I love her very much. She's, uh, she's off in Mexico shooting season two of yeah. Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, there she is. We, uh, Mercedes, come on, what's her Mason. name? Mason. She, she, she did it, right? Back. She crossed that line. Mercedes Mason. You, people <laughs> like you couldn't get it right. No so way. She had to, she had to change oh, your name. Wow. Stop that. <laughs> you did it, Steve. That was my it's all your it's fault, your Steve. Fault. Put it on Denman. Is she That's easy. Yeah, it's true. Nobody yeah. messes that one up. <laughs> Don't stir the pot. All right. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, great Thank to see you, you so too. much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for appreciating it.